AFTV. We are here at St. James's Park. Iconic statue that. Sir Bobby Robson, legend of English football. Um, legend here. Of course, he was a Geordie, England manager, Ipswich manager. Real legend that. And um, I used to love him. The film on him is brilliant. It really is. But um, we're here at St. James's Park. Looking forward to the season opener for Arsenal. Arsenal are going to be taking on Newcastle United on Sunday. It's a huge game, but two players are not going to be there at the game, and that is Meza Ozil and Saya Kolasinac. Um, both of them have been left out of the squad over security concerns. And when we all heard this news yesterday, we were like, what? We thought this was all over. Of course, I'm sure everybody's seen the footage of... Um, the attack that was made on um, both Mesut Ozil and Kolasinac, where somebody tried to rob them on scooters. Uh, one of the uh, guys on scooters was brandishing what looked like a knife or some sort of iron bar or something. Kolasinac rushed him um, and luckily, uh, you know, they went away. They, they jumped on their bikes and they went off. And I remember doing a video at the time and saying that, you know, whilst we all applauded the bravery of Kolasinac, and, you know, we applauded the fact that, you know, the situation, the guys are all right. It was a really scary situation that could have ended up even worse for those players had maybe they have taken them on. Now, the news came out yesterday that both of them have been left out of the squad. First of all, they were left out of the squad sort of following that incident. Um, there was the game, uh, one, one of the friendly games which they didn't play in that they were given extra time off and everybody was expecting them to come here and they've been left out again. And I'm um, looking at some of the quotes um, from Arsenal. They said that they're liaising with the police, providing the players and their families with uh, ongoing support. The welfare of our players and their families are always top priority, the club added. Uh, we've taken this uh, decision following a discussion with the players and their representatives and we look forward to welcoming back the players um, to the squad as soon as possible. So something really serious has gone on here around this incident. Now, I've been trying to do some digging. Um, listen, unless you're really close to it, you're not going to get accurate um, information. And what I've been told, and this is just pure speculation, right? This, couldn't, this, this might not even be true, but I've just been hearing that you know, apparently these guys have been sending death threats to the players. Um, there's been rumours that maybe um, people have been following the players. And whatever it is, it's serious enough for the police to still be involved, for Arsenal to say to the players, listen, stay at home. And remember, you know, for fans that will be out there, you know, certain fans are like, oh, he's on this amount of money a week. He can get security in and that. It's the, when you've got your family and your family's at home, Meza Ozil, we know, recently married, and you've got your family at home and everything, what's your mind going to be like when you're here playing at Newcastle and you know that your family's like five, six hours away, journey-wise, back in London? You're going to be worried. And we do not know the nature of what's gone on. We do not know the nature of any threats or whatever has been made. But it's serious enough for these two players, two big players for Arsenal to not travel. And not ideal preparation either for Arsenal, you know, the fact that, you know, even for the other players to know that their teammates are obviously going through some big issues at the moment with what's gone on. And as I said at the time, it really does highlight the fact that, you know, there's some serious crime issues in London. There really is. And um, at the moment, it's affecting two of our biggest players at Arsenal. It affects everybody on a day-to-day -day basis and it is something that is for another time but that is something that we really need to try and uh, take care of in London. But listen, I'm just hoping that you know this can be resolved as quickly as possible and that uh, Mesut Ozil and Sia Kolasinac can be back on a pitch doing what they love to do as soon as possible. I also hope that this is not going to affect them, you know, even their thinking of what, do I want to live in London? If this sort of stuff's happening and it's affecting me so bad, I'm hoping that they realise that this is just a one-off situation. But whatever it is, I think we've got to leave it. We've got to let the police do their job. We've got to, uh, you know, I think the club are doing the right thing here. You know what I mean? Because like they said, 
the players and the family's safety is more important than a game of football. That's for any family. Um, so let's hope this gets resolved as soon as possible. And hopefully the players here tomorrow can win that game for Ozil and Saya Kolasinac. But let's hope it gets resolved as soon as possible. But we're here at St. James's Park. Looking forward to the game. Arsenal versus Newcastle United. Come on, you gunners.